told you you so extra But I know I'm the same yeah. Love me in spite of my trauma Give me what I need instead of the drama Cause when it pop off it's like oh my All good all day but the night We be going so hard on the flip side So tell me we'll be on a day babe I could keep that same energy When you go low I go low too You'd rather stay high, I know you Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that way Trying to control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We could share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane Either way, baby, we could go on We could do it all Hi, hi, hey, hey, hi, hey so picked up two books from exclusive books because I've got a problem and um, also because I don't feel I need to justify why I like to buy books. I, I like to buy books because I read them a lot. <laughs> so the book that I, I was supposed to start reading, my next read, was supposed to be this, Malibu Rising, which I spoke about in maybe two or three vlogs ago, I spoke about it, I gave a synopsis on it and whatever. I was supposed to start reading that book. Um, ooh, the table is shaking, my bad. But the book I am gonna start reading today is this one. Firstly, look at that cover. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing this cover? So this is Infinite Country by Patricia Engel. And so basically this book follows the story of a young woman. This is a hard, hardback. This is a hardback. Uh, it follows the, the story of a young woman by the name of uh, Talia, who is held at a correctional facility in uh, Bogota. 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 And uh, basically it follows her story where she tries to get out of this correctional facility and actually get to her father who is waiting for her and has a plane ticket for her to return to the United States. So I think it's set in two parts because it also shows us the history of um, Talia's family uh, following the love story between her mother and her father, how they fall in love um, amongst um, a country that is struggling with civil and civil unrest, which is uh, Bogota. And Bogota. Bogota? Bogota? Bogota. Hmm. I think it's Bogota. But uh, yeah, so we see them and uh, uh, them moving to the United States with their firstborn, Karina, who is Talia's older sister, and making a life for themselves in the United States. Something along those lines. So it's set in two parts, which I am really, really excited to read. And it is a short book, and I'm hoping that I can finish this one before the end of July. That's a tall order. The end of July is in the next two days. <laughs> but if I read it today, I, I, I could. I could try. I could try. It's only about 191 pages, so I could try. I'm going to read this. I'm going to do a lot of reading today. So I could. I could actually finish it. Um, then this one is very different for me. Have a look at that cover. Pretty, pretty, pretty. This is uh, God Hunter by David Mogul. Mm. And this is the No More 2020 Awards winner. So this is very different for me because it is a fantasy. And I typically don't read fantasy. But the, the one line of fantasy that I probably would read is when it talks about African gods. Because that, that stuff is interesting. Okay, um, one of the books that I read that I want to read, which is also African fantasy, is Children of Blood and Bone, I think, by Ayemi. She's got a second one with this something with vengeance as well. I wanted to read that, uh, but that's more YA. So I wanted to try this. And this one follows uh, the life of David Mogo, who is a demigod and god hunt hunter and he has one task to capture two of the most powerful gods in the city and deliver them to the wizard gangster Lukmon Ajala and it sounds so interesting because gods have fallen to the earth in their thousands and chaos reigns 
through, though broken and leaderless, the city endures. So this is really interesting. This is really, I would read this. Ooh, deep. <laughs> I would read this. So yeah, definitely going to start with Infinite Country. And then probably Malibu Rising or, or God Hunter. I don't know. Or something else. Then this is what I got from Take A Lot yesterday. Four minutes. Okay, not bad. This is what I got from Take A Lot yesterday. And it's wrapped all the way up. Sorry if there's a bit of shaking. But this is for my podcast. This is the... I want the name for it. <laughs> it's a sound card, but audio USB. This is the audio USB external sound card. Uh, it's a singing sound card, but you can also use it for podcasts and things like that. So pretty much looks like, let me see if there's no other thingies. Looks like this. And this is gonna come in very clutch for the podcast. And if I ever wanted to sing, wouldn't that be something? Can you imagine me doing covers on my on my channel? Like that. So it's got the USB connectors, which is fantastic. It's got three of them. Hectic. Oh, for different types of... Oh, we love that. Okay. And then it's a tiny little thing. Here it is. And it looks like that. There we go. So excited. This is hectic. Ah, I feel so like techy now. Like I'm, I'm actually buzzing right now. I actually really want to try this out, <laughs> but I'll probably try it out over the weekend, test it out. Um, probably maybe do a mock recording for a podcast or just a short intro for the podcast. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but very, very excited for this. So glad that it's officially here. Okay, now I'm going to shoot some pictures. I am going to, my eyes are sore. I'm going to shoot some pictures. I am probably going to shoot them over there. Move those things over there and shoot. And then, yeah, probably talk to you guys when I make some Now all of my calls go to voicemail. I block you so I don't raise hell Should the talk through it in detail Our separate ways ain't gon' end well No But when we get back, it's like, oh my All bad all day, but the night I Get that good, good till we act right So tell me where we on the day, babe I could keep that same energy When you go low, I go low too But you'd rather stay high, I know you can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that wave Trying to control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We can share love in the ocean But if you want to go insane either way Hey, so it's about an hour and a half later Done with that shoot My eyes are so watery, oh my god Um, So done with that shoot And... Personally, I think I got six or seven good shots out of it, but I probably took over 30 <laughs> or 40. So um, I was thinking about that English muffin, and then I thought, I don't know, I now feel like having French toast. Now, my version of French toast is going to be on the cranberry bread because that's the bread I have in the house. That's all I eat. So I'm thinking cranberry toast, drizzle a little bit of honey on there because I do not have maple syrup. What? Nope. Nope. So we're going to have to make do with the honey. Um... It's nice because the toast is already filled with cranberry bits, so it's going to be sweet anyway. So that's good. And then I think I have a banana just to just put it on top of there. Um, two slices of toast. French. Make it French. Add a bit of cinnamon as well. Should be good. Let's do that. Um, 
and then I'm gonna eat and try and relax a little bit. The reason why I, I need to try and relax a little bit is, can you see that? It says medicine, can you see that? Uh, because I've, I was at the doctor yesterday, so I'm not feeling the best. Uh, I'm trying to work and push through it, but it's really, really hard because my back hurts. Uh, I'll talk to you about what's going on. I'm pretty sure I mentioned my costochondritis in one of my videos, but if I haven't, and if you're new here, I'll explain it a little bit later. But I do have to eat. Um, there is a tablet that I had to take 30 minutes before eating. So that's good because I took it about 10 minutes ago. So I'm going to eat now, prepare the food, then drink the remaining tablets that I need to drink. Um, then maybe I'm going to just read and I'll sit down there somewhere and read. And I'll have a little bit of a chat with you guys. And then, yeah, I'll probably pop in a little bit later when I prepare lunch, which really is always a smoothie. You guys know. Um... I'm even feeling tired. It's like so bad, guys, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. We're going to have a little bit of a mental health check-in uh, a little bit later. But for now, let's make the food. Let's make the food. Here we go. I'm about to taste my toast, tostada, uh, my French toast. Let's see how it goes. Add a little bit of everything. You know me. Mmm. 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 Oh my God. Mm. You know, I'm wondering to myself. Why don't I eat French toast more often? Goodness gracious, I love this. You got the cranberry. You get the cranberry from the bread coming through as well. Oh, it's a good thing. i breakfast. No, 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 mm mm, mm mm, mm mm. Lingley say like a breakfast. Breakfast is my sh. And I was telling Palisa yesterday that, um, 
and we were talking on the phone and I was telling her that dinner for me now isn't really a biggie. Like sometimes I just don't even eat dinner. Um, I don't even want to cook. Today I already know that I'm going to have pork chops with a green salad. It really isn't anything, it's not going to be anything worth, I mean I'll film it but it's just sauteing, frying up some, sauteing, frying up some pork chops. That's it. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. 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 So good. Alright, I'm gonna eat and then drink my tablets and then a little bit later, read a little bit and then a little bit later, you and I are gonna have a chat. Okay? Cool. Hey, y'all. <sighs> Finally. A moment to myself. Um, let me just put this, let me just put this cup down for two seconds. Get a little bit cozy. Uh, so, I said to y'all that, um, so I mentioned a little bit earlier on that I'm on some tablets and you must have probably seen that. Um, yes, I am on some tablets. I haven't been feeling well for the past week and a half. Um, and this week, as I record this, it is, what is this? Oh, as I record this, it is Thursday. Um, this whole week I haven't gone to work. I haven't worked. Like, the only work that I've been doing is social media work. Um, I haven't worked nine to five. I am off this week and it's a bunch of reasons. <laughs> um, uh, the major one being, oh, when was the last time you saw the sweater? I'm, I'm cold. I'm really cold. See how I'm digressing. I'm, I'm really cold because once it hits two o'clock, it's currently past one. Once it hits two o'clock, um, my house tends to get a little bit cooler and it gets a little bit cold in winter. Uh, in summer it's perfect, but in winter, it, I, I don't think South African homes are built for this kind of cold that we're having lately, but hey, it is what it is. Um, so, you guys saw that I'm on some tablets. I haven't been to work in this whole week um, and I was at the doctor yesterday. So the reality is, <laughs> I don't know, I've, I spoke about um, my costochondritis in a vlog a while ago, um, but in a nutshell, to, to make it short, costo is when um, the bones, the cartilage that joins the bones that move from your spine, ribs, the cartilage that joins the bones from your ribs to your spine, like to your sternum, get gets really, really inflamed. And that could be caused by stress, that could be caused by irregular posture. Hence, you can see that I'm sitting upright as opposed to slouching, which I probably will because I am going to read. Um, but yeah, so my costo flared up a week ago, last week, Monday. And the whole of last week, I just wasn't okay. I couldn't sit right. I couldn't blah, blah, blah. I was just a mess. And um, I couldn't sleep properly. Like I would sleep on one side, but it would get really heavy and wild for me on the one side. And I'd have to turn around. The only way I could sleep was sleep on my back, to be honest. Um, because this whole area was just so inflamed and... Um, yeah, it was that there was just a whole bunch of inflammation towards that weekend I started feeling a little bit better, but I still insisted on going to go see the doctor because I Wanted to be sure that it was the costo and not only that I needed the medication for the costo Which is not something you can pretty much get over the counter. You need something a lot stronger um, you can't you can't just deal with them panados or something like you need something a lot stronger so i went to the doctor yesterday um but it wasn't only that um i don't think i've had a mental health 
uh, check in with you guys in a while. Um, my mental health is pretty much shot since the looting in SA, since it's just really gone downhill. And that was about three weeks ago today, this week, yeah, three weeks ago. Um, so it's pretty much gone downhill since then. I've been struggling to sleep. Um, sometimes I'll oversleep, like I'll sleep the whole night, only wake up when I'm going to the bathroom. Sometimes I'll sleep, uh, the, the very next day I'll sleep like an hour. Um, so I've really, really been struggling a little bit. Um, and with my anxiety, a lot of the time I'm just overwhelmed and I'm sad and I don't want to be around people. And um, the footage that you saw of my sister, the, the recording with my sister and Balesa uh, was a while ago. Like it takes me forever to... <laughs> Uh, I'm even struggling to talk about this. Uh, it takes me forever to um, edit. I'll, I'll film a lot of content at once and then in like in one week and then I'll spread it out over like three, four weeks. Um, which helps me take some time off from actually filming. The only thing that I will film regularly are vlogs and I will upload them within a day or two after having filmed it. Um, so it's been a bit of a struggle for me uh, and when I went to my doctor yesterday when we spoke about the costo and how you know being stressed with work and with just life generally with a whole bunch of stuff that's been happening in my life um, she then asked me you know how my anxiety is uh, how the medication that she's put me on is going for me and all of that um, and I pretty much told her that it's it's not really doing much, you know, it, it helps me relax a bit, but then it it's not really doing much. So, yeah, she put me on something stronger yesterday. Um, after I spoke to her, I kind of like bro broke down in our consultation. And uh, yeah, so she put me on something a little bit stronger. And so because of it, I've been really struggling to even read um i read very very slowly now as opposed to like i i feel like a book like this i can finish in a day um especially if i'm not doing anything and i'm reading all day um but it's been taking me days if not weeks to finish one book uh which for me is really really difficult it's wild for me like it's messing with my my vibe. It's messing with the amount of books that I want to read by the end of the year. It's like just messing with it. Um, but yeah, I've been I've been feeling really really down. I've been feeling really really tired, um, overwhelmed, uh, feeling like I'm doing too much, but at the same time feeling like I'm not doing enough. Um, I've been feeling like that for a really long time. It's just that in my videos, I try and film on days where I feel really good. Um, but today, physically, I don't feel the best. I feel like um, a pinching sensation right across my spine, leaning that way. It's really just... <laughs> it's a lot. Um, so... I don't know how to take a break. The thing about me is that I don't know how to take a break. I always want to keep working. I always want to be producing content. I always want to be doing stuff. I just don't know. Physically don't know how to take a break. Um, I can take a break for a day or two, but then I, I the, the problem with that is that I also end up feeling really, really guilty for taking that time off and there is no one that's as hard on myself as i am like i'm so hard on me i'm so hard on me i just feel like you should be doing more you should be doing more keep pushing blah 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 even when i shouldn't be like <laughs> it's the wildest thing um so for me my anxiety is really on 1000 right now and because of that she put me on something much stronger um and something that's gonna take a little bit of time before it kicks in so i am going to be on this medication for a prolonged period of time so <laughs> i 
don't even know what to say. I just feel, I feel tired. I feel worn out. I feel like I'm literally dangling at the precipice of literally having a breakdown. And I'm trying to keep cool, keep calm, keep collected. It's been a lot, it's been a lot going on. <laughs> But I try to be positive. For me, the biggest thing is to just try to be positive. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. Um, yeah, for the most part, I feel fine. Uh, I don't know what more. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I feel like I'm just going to read. Uh, and I'll touch base with you guys a little bit later. It's like half past one now. And I'm still quite full from the French toast. So I'm pretty much, I'll, I'll probably make that green smoothie around three, half past three. And then, yeah, that's it. Um, I really do feel like, please take it seriously if you are struggling with your mental health right now. Please be kind to yourself and use kind words to yourself. If there's one thing that I struggle with a lot is to be kind to myself. And I have to keep reminding myself that, listen, it's okay. Like, it's okay not to be okay. Figila also reminds me, I feel like it's her favorite line. It's okay to not to be okay. But it's also okay not to just take a break and to park things and... Um, because of it, I've had to park quite a number of things that were scheduled to be released or dropped or whatever, you know. Um, and I just, there were times where I just felt like everything was going wrong. Even when I wanted to do something or start something or blah, blah, blah. And then this wouldn't come out right or this wouldn't work out right. And I just, I would just, I, I. I would just really just be so upset with myself. Like, why didn't you think about this? Why didn't you blah, blah, blah? And then I'd be mad at myself and force myself not to do anything in relation to whatever specific thing that didn't work out. Um, and just really be hard on myself. And don't, don't do that. Don't be me. Okay? Don't be me. Be somebody who... Be, be you... But, but, but focus on yourself, you know, pay mindful attention to yourself. Also, um, work on yourself. Uh, we're a work in progress. And I feel like if there's one thing that we all do to ourselves is we tend to be really hard on ourselves and that's not cool. That is not cool. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll touch base a little bit later. later um it's going on four it's 20 to four and i've been reading the book it's really good it's exceptionally well written i'm about 50 pages in um and it's exactly as how i explained it um it follows talia who breaks out of a correctional facility she is uh a teen when she breaks out of the correctional facility because she wants to be able to meet her father and go over to her mother in the United States. But of course the the story follows, um, I'm a little bit tired and delirious. I can't believe how sluggish these pills are making me feel. Um, so she wants to go back to the U.S. to her mother and her siblings. And yeah, the story kind of goes back and forth between the history of how her mother and her father met and um, how they had moved from Colombia. So Bogota is in Bogota, is in Colombia. And it talks about how the parents met and how they moved from uh, Colombia, which was uh, war-torn with civil unrest and all of that, uh, and moved to the United States in the hope for a better life, which is typically what a lot of uh, southern countries to the U.S. 
people who come from the southern countries to the U.S. typically do. Not all of them, but, you know, they want a better life. They want to try their luck at the American dream or so we hear. Um, so they get to the States and they have two other kids. Once they arrive at the States, they already have Karina, who is the firstborn. And after that, they have Nando and Talia. And yeah, so I'm pretty much just reading the story, following back and forth. It is exceptionally well written. This is a contemporary, um, just a fiction novel. It's really well written. Sure, this is probably going to be one of my favorite books of the year. Definitely. I'm so impressed. I've been reading it quite slow. 50 pages in for me is not as fast as I typically read. Um, but it's probably because I've, I've been sleeping and I've had, I've been sleepy and I've had to kind of reread certain, um, sentences or paragraphs because I'm feeling sluggish. So now I'm going to take a bit of a break, maybe even possibly take a nap, uh, even just for 30 minutes or an hour. But I do feel like having a cup of coffee with some biscuits. I've got lemon creams, and lemon creams make me feel good about my life. Um, I did have, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go. Uh, I'll probably pop in again maybe around dinner time, but for now, there's that on there. out this vlog it's the next day you saw the footage I'm coming on here to thank you guys I'm coming on here to thank you all I really want to be a lot more excited than I am right now but I am on some serious medication that makes me a little bit nauseous makes me a little bit sluggish and groggy hence why I might be looking but I am really really so thankful I'm so thankful to you guys for 20,000 subscribers that like we're here we're here. We're at 20,000. Uh, many nights I thought I would lie in my bed and I would think, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get there. You know, I'm not going to get there. Why is it moving so slow? Why, 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 why am I not getting there? I feel like 20,000 out of all the numbers that I've reached on YouTube, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 was the mark that I've been most excited to reach so far because I felt that for the amount of work that I put in to my channel, given the fact that I've just got other things going on with life and with work work and all of that, I just, I, I, I felt rather despondent and I felt rather, um, I was pitying myself quite a lot. And um, you guys kept on reminding me that, nah, man, we are here. We're supporting you. We're here. You, we, we've been here from day one, you know. And to all the new subscribers, thank you so much. To all the people who have joined the channel since yesterday, because I think it's now sitting on 20,100 and something. So I got over 100 subscribers in a day. That's major. And I've gotten over, in the last 28 days, I think I've gotten over 3,000, 3,300 subscribers. So this is major for me. Um, never seen it move this fast. And I'm pretty sure it's because of the videos with my sister and with my friends and whatever. But I am really, really, really entirely grateful that you follow me. I kept on saying to my friend yesterday that I don't get how 20,000 people find me interesting. 
for me it was just like i don't know i find myself boring hey <coughs> excuse me i find myself boring af <laughs> um but twenty thousand people don't seem to think that way and for me it's the most humbling thing i'm filled with so much warmth and filled with so much gratitude and filled with so much of a renewed sense of energy to want to keep producing content, to want to keep going. Um, this was major for me. And I put up so many of the reposts that you guys were doing on Instagram yesterday when I reached 20,000. And I am really, really entirely grateful to y'all just for sitting there and watching the ads and being supportive and just showing your love and support for this channel. It really, really means so much. Not only this channel, just for me. Um, I want this channel to be that space where we can all engage, talk, learn from one another, f discover new things. Uh, but also a space where we can, even when we have bad days, like today for me is not the best day, but like physically. In my mind, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with 20,000 and I'm excited. But physically for me, I'm feeling very... Uh, um, but even on those days that we can just meet up, we can talk, we can, um, share, exchange notes and have a good time and read and read. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm really, I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. Um, I don't want to get emotional because I cry a lot and I spent yesterday crying as I was watching these numbers go up on the um, live subscriber count. I was watching this, these numbers go up and I was just like, what is going on? Uh, so I'm excited and I'm grateful and I'm thankful to you guys for having faith in me and just pushing me to to go in and hard um but the reality is it's it's also taken a very big uh hit on my mental health and we'll talk about that in another video um that's why i'm feeling like this because of the medication that i'm on i'm on a new set of medication but i still do want to thank you guys for constantly and consistently showing that support we're at twenty thousand, baby baby we're going where the money resides where the money resides <laughs> thank you so much i'm working on the giveaway i'm still haven't figured out what i should give away if you've got any ideas on what i should give away put it down below um and uh yeah thank you very much from the bottom of my heart from the bottom of my little old tiny heart i appreciate you guys i really do I'm gonna go because the tears are at the door. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.